If you were transported 400 years into the past with no clothes or anything else, how would you prove that you were from the future? So 400 years ago is 1620. Correct. Our math um, skills are okay. Um, witchcraft is, is still a, uh, a big concern of people in, in 1620 okay. uh, in Britain. If you are walking around in 1620 trying to prove that you are from the future, the chances are someone will think you're a witch. And I do not want to be burned alive at the stake <laughs> yeah. or, or drowned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm going to I'm going to change your question and be like, I wouldn't try and prove I'm from the future because um, uh, I want to die. <laughs> In the exam questions, did you do the thing where you take apart the question? You're like, I'm not answering that. This is why the question's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or the other favourite was to be like to show intellectual dexterity. You would you would counter argue your point in the next paragraph and you start it with a big however. Yes. And, yeah. Some say this, however, beat down. You've gone back in time, you've got no clothes on, you're naked in the street, and you've got to try and convince people they shouldn't burn you at the stake. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. I just think keep, keep a low, keep a low profile. <laughs> Very low profile. Get clothes ASAP. You'd have to create some sort of backstory, because the minute, as you say, you start going, oh yeah, I'm from the future, they'll be like, burn him. <laughs> exactly, and I don't want to be burned. The really interesting thing that actually happened in 1620 was that was the year the Mayflower left for America. And that was basically stick all the oddballs yeah. from the Netherlands and England in one boat and send them to the other side of the world. That's what that was. So I think, I think they would accept a naked person who was from the future on that. I think they'd, they'd take all <laughs> the hands they could, they could grab. I'd get on that boat and get away. Yeah. Europe was in the throes of the 30-year war. And that was, that was horrific. A lot, a lot of people died in Europe over those 30 years. You want to get on this yeah. cruise coming up, get on the Mayflower. Yeah. I just think it's the, it's the idea of a new start, right? I mean, how, uh, if, you, if you're stuck in that period, um, mm. it's the idea of a new start, new colony, new laws. You might end up being the boss. You might end up being the boss. If you were the boss, if you were the head of the Mayflower, what would you do? I think the first thing, I'd have to establish some ground rules on that boat, just where people can relieve themselves. Like, not on the boat. It's got to be, you know, put your bum over the side. You don't have a very, very high expectations of your crew there, do you? If that's <laughs> the first problem is, I don't think they're going to use the toilets. I don't. I don't think there is anything that can be established as a, a toilet. What was a bucket day one? That's just that's just a no go area. When you're on a ship, it would be hard to miss the awkward morning after, wouldn't it? Were you? Did I see you creeping around lower deck yeah. sea last night? Come nope. out of Sandra's hammock last night. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. Was not me. Just someone who looked like me. Yeah. Why Sandra's staying on the foredeck all of today, and you're you're in the aft. Is that is that yeah. why? Yeah, because you were with Babs the night before, weren't you? God, outrageous. <laughs> what would you do? I think I would try and bring in as many modern sort of themes as I could, and and one big one I think would be useful. Would um, this got very serious, but um, <laughs> would be gender equality. I think that it was a mixed yeah. sex colony that went over. Yeah. And looking at the COVID response, it, more than one sort of press companies highlighted that all the countries that did the best in, in the COVID crisis were ones led by women, or at least a large proportion. And I just think yeah. that trying to instill those sorts of modern values. There'd be a lot of moments, I, could, I imagine, where you'd have to really sense check what they're saying. And so there'd be a lot of comments flying around and you'd have to come in and go, oh, can you say that? And they'll be like, well, why not? And you'd be like, well, in the future... <laughs> And then they'll be like, get him overboard. Because they would choose the drowning. You're not going to be burnt at the stake on a boat. It would. Oh, absolutely. That's carnage. That's curtains. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And while you're here, why not check out this video above? I think you'll really enjoy it. Share this video and all the laughs with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the latest truths, laughter and tips all on this channel.